Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Mm, that that hurts to say. Let me let me explain. I despise Teen Titans Go. It is, in my opinion, one of the worst, most insulting shows out there. And the reason for that is because I, I grew up loving and enjoying and watching the original Teen Titans. Uh, that I started, I think, back in 2005. Uh, the original Teen Titans cartoon, when that came out, it, it was fantastic. I enjoyed it. It, 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 was, it. it was so much for me. Just growing up. It meant a lot to me. And I, I really wanted more of it. And, and when it was canceled and everything, it's like it disappointed me because there was so much more to tell. And then they came out with Teen Titans Go, which it, it didn't just take a more comedic, child-friendly route. It straight up insults the Teen Titans as characters. It ruins their entire character, the entire point of their characters, and makes them completely unlikable. Beast Boy and Cyborg, who had some of the great story arcs from the original Teen Titans, who had some of some amazing depth and character to them, are relegated to annoying assholes. Starfire, it's like they took her naivety and turned it to just pure stupidity, and that's all her character is in Teen Titans Go. Raven, they gave her way too many emotions, which goes against her character, as well as the fact is basically made her into a, a stereotypical joke hot topic kid. And Robin... Robin's just a loser idiot who doesn't know what how to do anything. Despite, you know, Robin being uh, trained by the goddamn Batman. Despite Robin, uh, specifically this being Dick Grayson, being one of the greatest fighters in the DC Universe. Not to mention the show has gone out of its way to insult the fans who have uh, spoken out against it. The show staff have gone out of their way to insult the fans who have spoken out against the show. Which, I don't care what your motivations for making the show are. I don't care what you think about the show that you're making. You do not insult... Uh, you do not insult your viewers, no matter if they're uh, disliking your show or not. You never insult them, you never uh, attack them, and you never actually make episodes for the sole purpose of getting back at them, which the creators of Teen Titans Go! has done. They have gone out of their way to basically be complete assholes to viewers who have spoken out negatively against Teen Titans Go. And I mean, even more so than just the fact that the show is terrible, that it's terribly written, it, it, it's it's just extremely unfunny, which a, co a comedic-based show should never be. It ruins all the characters and stories and ideas behind all of it. Even besides all of that, the fact that they do shit like insulting and attacking the fans, especially in the show itself, that's unforgivable in my eyes. That that should be something that would kill any show. And honestly, I, I honestly am surprised the show is still going. It's gone for like what over five, or it's gone for like I think five or six seasons now, and it has a theatrical movie 
yet it's almost universally disliked. It, it, I, I, I kind of feel like Cartoon Network is actually pouring the money in for all of this. Like, they're actually supplying the money to keep the show going and to and for the movie to even have been made because it makes no sense with how universally disliked this show is. Does it still have a viewership? Oh, yeah. Some, some dumb kids watch it uh, because they don't know better. And I'm not, like, just saying that to insult the kids or anything. Of course not. I'm saying that because they don't know better. It, this is all they know for the Teen Titans. And even some who have watched the original Teen Titans, it's like this is the, they're kind of in that demographic where they've yet to really understand why this is so problematic. So after saying all that, you may be wondering, okay, so if you despise this show so much, why are you watching the movie? Why are you reacting to the movie? Well, if you remember, a couple weeks ago, I hosted something called the Fall 2018 12-hour mega stream. Uh, every season, I host a 12-hour mega stream, uh, lasts from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And during it, I have this uh, little, I guess you could call it a challenge thing going on. Uh, so in the weeks leading up to the mega stream, uh, anyone who wishes to donate uh, to the channel, uh, donations go towards getting new games for live streams and stuff like that, mostly. Um, anyone who chooses to donate to the channel, you can also, instead of donating money, you can just donate a game. Uh, that works too. But anyone who donates gets to force me to react to something. It can be a movie, a show, a YouTube animation, any of that. Obviously, with like shows and stuff, like my normal rules for reactions apply. If I don't end up liking it, I can drop it at any point. But with a movie, obviously, that's that's not a thing. <laughs> um, and Matthew Vasquez, he donated twice, so he got two. Uh, one of his uh, donation requests for me to react to is the anime series Barakamon. But the other one was this. And basically in the end, you could say he, uh, you, you could almost say it's like he paid me to watch this, um, which is basically the only way I would end up watching this. Uh, he donated Chrono Trigger, which I've been playing on stream and actually really enjoying. So I, I can't complain too much because I, I really enjoy Chrono Trigger. Um, but yeah. I'm really, I'm not excited for this movie at all. I'm actually, I'm actually almost 100% sure I'm going to hate it. If I do end up enjoying it, I will be extremely surprised. I will be extremely surprised if I find anything in it funny or enjoyable at all. I do know a couple things. I know that it's extremely uh, meta, or at least it's... Um, Here's the thing. With a meta joke, you can't have the entire thing be one big meta joke. Because at that point, it's it's too much. It doesn't work. I do know that that's what this movie is going for. I, I think the movie's actual plot is that they're trying to make a movie. I know that Nick Cage uh, voices Superman. I do know that. And that I'm kind of a little on the fence about because... I like Nick Cage, I like both ironically and unironically. I actually think he's a fun actor, but at the same time, I also do enjoy him in an ironic sense because he's ridiculous as hell. Um, although there are some movies he's really good in, like National Treasure, the first one, that's actually an amazing movie, and he's great in it, no joke. But either way, I know he's Superman, and... I just don't see him as Superman, even in, in a voicing role. I just don't see it. Um, I, I also know, I, I believe that Slade is in this. I, I think he's in the series too, I, but I think I, I saw something about him being in this movie. Um, and I'm saying Slade because in Teen Titans, it was always he always went by Slade instead of Deathstroke the Terminator. Um... So yeah, he, which is actually just his name. His name is Slade Wilson. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, either way, yeah, that's pretty much all I know. I don't know like any big details or any like 
big things that happen. There might be some cameos in this. I don't know. Um, I'm, I, I won't say I'm interested to find out with this one because I'm not. Um, but I will be finding out, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Matthew. You're making me do this. Um, but in all seriousness, like I, I really do despise Teen Titans Go, but I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna be like one of those people who's just the entire time watching this is just gonna be like getting pissed at every little thing. I'm going to give it at least somewhat of a chance. I'm going to judge it fairly based on what I see in this movie. If I if I end up enjoying it more than I think I will, cool. If I hate it, then yeah, nothing really uh, to talk about, I guess. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. So, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts. And will contain spoilers to the movie. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. You probably want to look up the like it now, right? right? Yeah, fine, I'll let you go. go on. And I'm all hairy. I think that was my fault, but. We're back and. Spoilers, three, two, one, go. Sure. I'm not even going to worry about trying to fix the... I don't even know. Yeah, I do wish I had reacted to this first, so I could have actually had something to look forward to after. I mean, it, it was worse than I, I would have even thought it could have been. It was excessively insulting. Like, there might have been maybe, what, two jokes in it that worked? And everything else was just so unbearable. It, it's not funny. Like, I I nor I don't complain about like uh, things being like super obvious to like see coming and all. Like I've said in the past on different things, predictability is not always uh is not always a problem. That a, a show or an episode or a movie or whatever can still be good even if predictable. But usually that's only the case when it's not like actively trying to make you think it's unpredictable like it's cl it clearly was trying it was like acting like it was this big surprise it wasn't a big surprise it wasn't even a small surprise Like, the characters, the, the supposed uh, heroes of the story did nothing at all worthy of being called heroes. A and they're so excessively incompetent that in the end, the, the fact that they became suddenly and out of nowhere competent in order to be able to defeat Slade, I, I hate that. I, I despise it when shows or movies or whatnot do that, when completely incompetent characters suddenly uh, and uncharacteristically become competent for the sake of the plot. It's contrived as all fuck.
I, I was cheering for the bad guy, uh, for Slade, pretty much the entire time. Because there was, there was no reason to cheer for the good guys. They're completely unlikable. Everything, th they were doing so much that was wrong. They were on, they, I, I wouldn't call them good guys. With the shit they were pulling, I wouldn't call them good guys. You know how people often say that when you're watching something you're enjoying, time seems to go by really quickly? The, uh, basically the adage of time flies when you're having fun. And that's true. That happens a lot. And it's not that time is actually going by more quickly. It's It just feels like it. It goes by quicker because you're enjoying it. Well, the opposite is true as well. When you're watching something that you're just despising beyond reason it, it's it's felt like forever it's only 644 it really wasn't that long all things considered but it was so hard to sit through I, I had to bring the dog up uh, and, and hug her and everything and every just to keep myself sane I'm not even kidding. I was legitimately on the verge of turning it off so many times and just saying fuck it. I would rather watch Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, on repeat for 24 hours straight than watch this again. That used to be my least favorite superhero movie of all time, but hey, I guess we have a new winner for that title. I have now, according to this list, unless there's anything I'm forgetting, I have now, this is the 122nd superhero movie I've seen. Counting Teen Titans Go to the Movies, I have now seen 122 superhero films. This is the worst by far. It's like not even a question. You know, there were only three superhero movies I gave zero stars to before. The 1966 Batman movie, uh, 1984 Toxic Avenger, and uh, Superman 4. And they're all leagues better than this. I went into this... Whereas Connor... Oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked on a video. I went into this legitimately trying my hardest i was trying my dandest to enjoy this at least something i knew i wasn't going to like it i knew going in that this was going to piss me off but i was trying to find something to latch on to that i could at least at least find to to enjoy to some degree i, I wanted to go into this and give it a chance Give it a chance to do something to impress me. And to be fair, like I said, there were maybe two jokes that worked. I didn't expect that much. So I guess it surprised me enough in that way. The fact that they tried to like in incorporate like, like real comic book stuff too... Makes it, as I said, well, during the reaction, it made it even worse. Because it felt like it was insulting. It, it, it felt like it was purposefully insulting the original comics and source material. I, I've said it before. I, I love Marvel, but I am a DC fangirl. This is the shit I grew up with. This is the shit I love. I grew up with Batman the Animated Series. I grew up with Justice League, with Teen Titans, with all of this shit. And to see it just so horribly shit upon like this, it's infuriating. Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated didn't even shit on its characters as bad as this. 
The Teen Titans Go series is even more bearable than this fucking shit. I I'm sorry if it's just like... I know a lot of you probably don't like to watch like reactors and stuff when it's just pure rage like this. A lot of you probably prefer a more nuanced critique or uh, a more in-depth analysis of the content being reacted to and everything, especially following the reaction, but you're not going to get that here. I'm not going to try and analyze everything that was wrong with this, and there's nothing to analyze of anything that was right. This was painful to sit through. As a DC fangirl, as just a person who enjoys media, this was just painful to sit through. I, I'm sorry, I can't continue any further. I need to, I need to just, I need to watch something else before I completely lose it. See you all next time. Tears along the way You're still standing Live, love, laugh